Hello YouTube, my name is Jonathan Hornby and welcome to my first tutorial video. Today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Rokion 14mm 2.8 lens and help you decide if it's the right tool for you and your projects. Judging by the packaging, it seems that Rokion is marketing this lens as a professional solution by making both the text and illustrations both informative and to the point. Baggy case, instructions, who reads those, and the lens. Comes with rear cap, very large front cap, and a very large front element. The focus ring turns very smoothly. The aperture ring does click, so that's a consideration to make when you're shooting video. You want to be careful with this particular lens, as the rear glass element protrudes beyond the mount and could scratch easily. Lens caps recommended. And good news for photographers who still shoot on film or are curious to try, because this lens fits full frame cameras, it will also fit 35mm cameras of your brand name. Because I shoot on the Sony A mount, it also fits on Minolta A mounts. All right, let's jump right into test footage from Raleigh's Comic Convention, where a 14 millimeter lens is a potential game changer. You can get an incredible space in a single frame like never before. This particular lens has a few downsides, which I'll discuss in a moment. But I love how you can get very close to the subject while still capturing the environment. 14 millimeter is great for small spaces, but even in a convention center like this, staying close helps to capture clean audio. The lens is sharp even wide open, but you'll need to use a focus assist function. Moving on to still frame photos, these are shot with my Minolta A7 film camera, 30 megapixel scans courtesy of Indie Film Lab. This lens shows the entire space you've always intended to capture. You can get some crazy perspectives with minimum lens flaring and chromatic aberrations. You can see how the wide angle accentuated the flag while maintaining sharpness from edge to edge. It creates beautiful photos, but now for some shortcomings. The barrel distortion is an eyesore when straight lines near the long edge start looking like a W. The same photo at 2.8 shows a light fall off, right center, and low contrast. There also might be some coma distortion. These effects are less noticeable in normal situations and the characteristics from shooting wide open offers a dreamlike quality. I compared the effects of shooting wide open on my Zeiss 24-70 and it seems the drop in contrast is due to the optics in the Rokinon versus some other factor. Watch the corners or they'll stretch your subject like Laffy Taffy. The most common lens flares is a four colored rainbow in the periphery, but it only happens in certain situations. The flares are quite nice for capturing wedding DJ lights. In conclusion, only you can decide if this is the right lens for you. For less than $300, it was the right lens for me at the time. It got me started on the right foot. I've since upgraded, but if you're just starting out and need something to set you apart, this just might be the right tool for you. Thank you so much for watching my first tutorial video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See ya!